Oh, hi there. Uh, my name is Ian Middleton. I am a travel and landscape photographer and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Ian Middleton Photography or on my website ianmiddletonphotography.com. Now, this is one of my quick photography tips and today I'm going to show you a problem that you should watch out for when using the highlights tool. Okay, if you're not familiar with the highlights tool, then check out my other tutorial using the highlights tool in Photoshop for clouds, which I'll put a link for up here right now. Um, so you'll find the highlights tool up here in, in Photoshop. We're working in Photoshop, of course. Um, you can also use it in Lightroom too. Uh, you'll find it here on image adjustments down here, shadows and highlights. Now when you use the tool, make sure you've got this show more options. If this is unticked, you're only going to get these two boxes. So tick the show more options to get more options when using it. Now, what I'm going to show you here is something you need to watch out for when using the highlight tool in skies. Now if you've got a, a, a hazy sky like this, with a hazy mountain range so you've got this nice definition here on the mountains but there's a lot of kind of haze over the mountain itself and you can sometimes have a problem when you use the highlights tool on the image overall and it may not be obvious at first so when you use your highlights tool always zoom in 100% and check your skies in fact check the whole image of course but I'm going to show you here the sort of thing that can happen if you don't look carefully. Okay. Now, what I want to do here with the highlights tool is to bring out some of the highlights in this low lying mist in the valley here. So it's a little bit too bright. So I just want to bring it out again. Uh, so if I go up to highlights, adjustment, shadows and highlights. Now if I make an overall adjustment like I would normally say 10 I only whack the radius up to here okay now you can see what that's done to the clouds down below it's added a little bit of extra definition to the clouds and now if we look at it like this it look oh, okay that's great no problem but let's zoom in at a hundred percent and let's have a look here now, can you see over these little bit mountain tops here, there's some um, nasty artifacts, some nasty noise. Now, if I undo that, there we go. See, it's disappeared. So, let's go in again. Let's use the shadows and highlights tool and let's watch how, when we drag this over, we start to get that, that nasty noise. Or, um, in in the shadow areas here see if we undo them it disappears so it doesn't look very nice at all yeah if we, we increase that as well you can really see it coming out now so basically what we've done is we've overused uh, the highlights tool for this particular part of the scene it's not going to work although it works well for the sky the cloud at the bottom so you can see down here everything is nice and smooth there's no nastiness there's no artifacts here but we've got it here on the mountain tops here it's coming through so this is no good so i'm going to undo that a simple fix really i just want to adjust this now there are two ways i can do it if you've got the uh, Adobe Camera Raw plugin. So if we go up to Filter, uh, Camera Raw Filter, we can open up the image in Camera Raw, go to our graduated filter tool, okay, and make sure everything is set to zero except your highlights. Now we come down here, hold down the Shift key to keep it straight, and let's select a gradient here. And then we can simply adjust the highlights that's only affecting this part of the scene it's not affecting any of the sky or any of the tops of the mountains so if we okay that there you go now if we go back up here you can see yep 
everything's fine. Okay, that's one way to do it. Let's undo that. Another way to do it, a little bit more complicated, <clears throat> but what you can do is open up your layers palette here, right click the background and duplicate the layer. Okay, now we've got a layer on top of a layer. You, you can imagine that you have a stack of prints. Basically, if you had two prints of this photo, you would have one on top of the other. So they're stacked. So you can work on one layer without affecting the other layer. So now, you see, if I select the top layer, now I can do what I wanted to do. I can go to my levels. Sorry. Uh, I can go to my uh, shadows and highlights. There you go. Make my adjustment overall. Okay. Uh, now, what I want to do here is go down to this tool here and add a layer mask here. And then I can do one of two things. I can select a gradient tool and I can pull down the gradient tool to reveal the layer underneath, but only in this part here. So there we go. Yeah. But it's still really, it's blending the two, but it's still showing a little bit through. So I'm going to undo that. And instead, the better way is to use the brush tool. So select your brush tool, select your size, make sure hardness is zero because you want a nice soft edge. Otherwise it's going to look pretty obvious when you paste it through. So select your brush size, good big, big size for this because I'm working on a big area. And then I can just simply brush through the layer here. There we go. Make sure your opacity is at 100%, so I'm brushing through 100% of the layer below. And there. That is much better. Okay. So I've got, if we undo that, let's undo that. There you go. That's how it was before. Yeah, and if I redo the brush tool, there you go. Now I've got rid of that but I've still retained my detail down below. Then all you need to do is go to layer, flatten image, job done. So there you go. A problem to look out for when using the highlights tool that you can overuse it in skies where there's not much detail, where it's a bit hazy. Uh, so, and this is a way to get around this problem. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Check out my other tutorials and catch you later.